the most important thing about first is that it's a gross oversimplification to say that it's just about building a robot because it's so much more than that. It's really gotten me interested in pursuing an engineering profession. I've never done anything like this ever. I think we have a very interesting simulation of what it's like to organize and develop a fairly complicated engineering project. It's something completely new, uncharted territory. Our thought was, if we can get the robot to work, if we can be competitive and not be embarrassed, if we can, you know, get on the playing field and actually participate in the events, that's success. First Robotics was founded by the inventor Dean Kamen, who um, came up with the Segway. And his goal was to get more students involved in science and technology for their careers, because at least in the United States, there's been a downward trend in the number of students who are pursuing careers in science and technology. And so FIRST was founded with the hopes of creating a competition with a dynamic atmosphere where kids could find how interesting and rewarding science is. His idea was to pair science education with corporate mentorship, and so teams forge partnerships with companies so that they can be mentored by them, and so the companies can impart their knowledge to the teams, and teams can learn from the technical expertise of the companies. In this way, those students who find out that they want to pursue a career in science will end up being hired by the same type of companies that sponsored First Team. An opportunity with FIRST gives you a chance to apply a whole new range of skills for the kids and, and it gives them an opportunity to get together with businesses, to find out how businesses run. Matter of fact, the kids actually run their own business. They seek donations, they set up timelines, they're, they're forced into deadlines, um, they have to organize around the different elements that, that make the team and it gives the kids an outlet to really be team members in something other than a sports team. You know, because it's run like a business, it gives them a little bit of look into the business world and what a business team is set up like, which is quite a bit different than a sports team. This year we had a really remarkable season. We started out um, at the Milwaukee Regional, where we ended up being the regional winners with our alliance partners, Wild Stang and Renovation. And so that was really exciting because it meant that we were qualified for nationals, where we were really much more successful than we had hoped. In our division, which was Archimedes, we ended up sixth, which meant that we got to pick our alliance members. And we were actually the only rookie team there to be able to do that. And so that was pretty exciting in itself just because we were the highest rookie seed in our division and the only rookie team there to be an alliance captain. I mean, that was a really um, remarkable finish for us coming into the competition, having no expectations of performing. Great job, DC 16. They run over and unload all of their balls. Great job. Great job, DC 16. The result of the year was this very simple robot that did very simple things very well ended up being the top defensive robot, the top rookie robot, and I think the, the, the team recognized that and it turned out to be a great season. And we're all very, very excited to participate in next year's game. Starting out, we sort of had a rookie team mentality. So do you think it's just going to run wild? And our thought was, if we can get the robot to work, if we can be competitive and not be embarrassed, if we can, you know, get on the playing field and actually participate in the events, that's success. We started out in October, and at that point, 
we really didn't know what we were doing. I mean, we had an idea of what that competition was, and a vague idea of what we would have to do, but specifically building a robot, none of us had any experience in this area. We want to recognize the highest rookie seed, and that was team number 1816. Sponsored by NASA, Medtronic, Edina Education Fund, Future Research, LLC, Big Image Corporation, from Edina High School in Edina, Minnesota, is the Edina Robotics Team. The budget of the program is fairly expansive, and so we have to go to corporations to get sponsorship and to provide mentors for us because none of the members of our team have the technical expertise needed to actually build the robot. One of the things that businesses are looking for now is to increase that talent pool. How do we keep kids in science and technology and engineering and mathematics and get them through school, get them into internships, get them into co-ops, and actually have them participate in those fields of study and stay in it so that we can, we can uh, you know, fulfill the need we have as a country. So we get big companies, you know, like Medtronic, like Caterpillar, like Eaton, like 3M, that want to participate with us because they see the need and they don't want to ship all those jobs overseas. There's two aspects of community involvement. There's one which is sort of external community involvement. So it, it brings them goodwill, it brings them visibility, it gets some good press. Um, secondly, it gives them good community development within their own organizations. I was at a company the other day and the company wants to use this program as a way to help facilitate some goodwill amongst its engineers and to show them that they're willing to invest locally. Um, within that community and, and keep the engineers interested and occupied.